Our next story is about the power of being a ticket inspector <laughs> and the mood they always bring into the trams and metros whenever they appear. Příběh píše Jan. Do tramvaje na Pavláku přistoupili dva revizoři v uniformě. Pár lidí znejistilo, ale cápek s kapucí se od nich nenápadně vzdaloval. Revizor 1. Kdyby věděli, co neví. Revizor 2. Že už na to dlabem. Budeme překládat. We are going to translate. Do tramvaje na Pavláku přistoupili dva revizoři v uniformě. Here is best to translate it from the end. So two ticket inspectors in uniform got on the tram on the IP Pavlova stop. Přistoupili could also mean joined. They joined the passengers on the tram. Pavlak, I will be explaining that uh, more on the board. Pavlak is the colloquial name for IP Pavlova stop. Pár lidí znejistilo. A couple of people grew nervous or uncertain. Znejistilo. Ale cápek s kapucí se od nich nenápadně vzdaloval. But a guy with a hood on was moving away. Vzdaloval se. Was moving away from them od nich. And then we are left with nenápadně, which means without anybody noticing, unnoticeably, inconspicuously. Once again, a couple of people grew nervous, but a guy with a hood on was moving away from them, unnoticeably. Revizor jedna, the ticket inspector number one. Kdyby věděli, co neví, if they knew what they don't know. Revizor dva, the ticket inspector number two. Že už na to dlabem. That we don't give a damn about that anymore. Dlabem na to. We don't give a damn about it anymore. And the že here is as a connector of the phrase that. That we don't give a damn about it anymore. At the beginning of the story they mentioned Pavlák na Pavláku. Which is a colloquial name for the tram station and also metro station, I.P. Pavlova. So we shorten it to Pavlák and then we can say na Pavláku at the I.P. Pavlova station. In the last story I wrote an additional verb vystoupit, which means to get off and perform. And this verb is perfective. And we can also have přistoupit, which means to, to get on additionally. Maybe you know nastoupit and this is slightly different. Nastoupit means to get on because you have the na, you get on a platform. Přistoupit is similar, but it means you get on to the additional passengers. So it's like to additionally get on. For example, when you travel on a train in the Czech Republic and there is a train conductor, průvodčí, who checks the tickets or you can also buy a ticket with him. He would ask přistoupili. Are there any people who got on recently? Any new admissions? Přistoupili dva revizoři. So, two ticket inspectors got on. Znejistět. This is a beautiful verb. It means to become unsure. From jistý and nejistý, uncertain, unsure. Znejistět. To become unsure or to become nervous. Pár lidí znejistilo. A couple of people grew nervous. You could feel the tension when they see a ticket inspector. Cápek. Cápek is a slang for a, a boy or a man or just somebody who looks like could get into trouble. We have another word too. We can say típek from type. Típek or cápek. Cápek is more common in the Silesia region. Cápek s kapucí. This means a guy in the hood. So you can imagine somebody that looks like it probably doesn't have a ticket. Cápek s kapucí se od nich nenápadně vzdaloval. A guy with a hood on started to move away from them without 
anybody noticing. So, nena padně is a very interesting adverb, which means without anybody noticing. It's very common in the Czech language. Nena padně comes from the adjective nápadný. Nápadný, which means obvious, something that really draws your attention, so you see it immediately. Nápadný. You can do something nápadně, which is not a very common thing to say. Nápadně, something that draws the attention. Udělala jsem to moc nápadně. I did this too conspicuously. But it is much more common to say nenápadně, without anybody noticing, unnoticeably. Nenápadně se vzdaloval. He was moving away unnoticeably. He didn't want to be noticed. The first ticket inspector said, kdyby věděli, co neví, if they knew what they don't know. And the other ticket inspector answered, že už na to dlabem. He said dlabem. And I wrote dlabeme. I will explain this. Dlabat is a slang, a very mild slang. It means to not give a damn. <laughs> In Czech, it is very harmless. Not to care about something. When you say dlabu na to, I don't care about it. Originally, dlabat means to carve or also to eat very quickly. Dlabat na něco is not to give a damn about something, but it is milder than the English, not give a damn, not care. But it's more expressive than just simply saying not care. Že už na to dlabem. That we don't care, we don't give a damn about this anymore. It means they were finished with their shift or they just didn't want to check uh, people riding without tickets anymore. Normal expression would be dlabem. That would be the, the traditional present tense. But... A more colloquial version is for the first person plural to lose the e at the end. Dlabem, dlabem. This you cannot do this with all the verbs. This only applies to the third and fourth group in the present tense. For example, the third verb group, the ov80 ending, would be pracovat, and you can say pracujem without the e. If you say pracujem without the e at the end, it means it is colloquial. Pracujem. Or the fourth group, the one that often has irregular verbs. Píšeme, and you say píšem colloquially. So you lose the e in the me form and only in the third or fourth group. Why doesn't it happen in the first and the second group? Well, because if you see, for example, the verb from the first group, which is, for instance, dělám, já dělám, my děláme. If we lose the e there, then we end up with the same form, já dělám, my dělám, that wouldn't make sense. And the same for the second group, mluvím, já mluvím, my mluvíme. You need the e. But here you still make the distinction between já pracuju, my pracujem, já píšu, my píšem. So, this is group four. Já dlabu, as I mentioned, dlabu na to. I don't care about it. I don't give a damn about it. Že už na to dlabem. 